And still in the news, the Senate has suspended plenary for one month to enable its uh, Committee on Appropriation Work. I'll take that again. Uh, to enable its Committee on Appropriation Work on the general principles of the 2022 budget of 16.39 trillion naira. Senate President Ahmad Lawan made the declaration after the 2022 appropriation bill was read, debated, and passed second reading. Who announced that plenary will resume on November the 9th, said the four-week period will allow ministries, departments and agencies to defend their budget performance and projections before the appropriation committee, headed by Senator Jibrin Burao. He stressed the need for Parliament to intensify oversight on MDAs to ensure government funds are applied for projects originally earmarked for. A bill for an act to authorize the issuance from the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation, the total sum of 16,391,023,917,692 Naira only, of which 768,276,616,043 Naira only is for statutory transfers. 3,000,000 901,952,981,550 Naira only is for debt service. In their contributions, most of the lawmakers voted the projection of the budget, especially having to borrow to fund it. Others commended exactly for its plan on economic growth and sustainability. I agree that borrowing, just like you said, it's a very difficult thing for us today. But then, just like every other person has said, how do we borrow everything that we earn? Because the economic team of Mr. President has said that we are borrowing 97.7% uh, 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 of what we earn. That means that it leaves us with just 2%. It's important that we are all conscious of the fact that those who implement this budget would want to assume, as it had happened in the past, that members of the National Assembly who are supposed to be in charge of oversight will be too busy or at some point will be so lame up as to be able to do a thorough supervision. Mr. President, year in and year out, the Senate has been in the business of making budgets to better the life of our people. And since the inception of this National Assembly, year in and year out, our challenges have been increasing in a geometrical progression, which then means that uh, our system of budgetary has not actually been able to address, address our increasing challenges. Because we have said that all our borrowings that we are doing is supposed to be used to meet capital short for a capital expenditure for rebuilding of our own infrastructure. Therefore, I think it is important all disbursement from service wide votes must be, must be declared so that we know exactly what we are borrowing, what we are borrowing is properly being used, you know, for the purpose. After the debate, the Senate President assured that the 2022 budget will be passed before the end of the year. Distinguished colleagues, borrowing, like most of us here said, is not bad. What we need to do is to ensure that what we borrow is prudently deployed in those areas of capital infrastructural developments. We must ensure equity in the distribution of projects. We must ensure economy in the application of funds. The key assumptions of the budget and targets on the line dam cover capital expenditure, overhead costs, statutory transfers, personal costs and pensions, oil price and production exchange rate, oil and non-oil revenue, and the resultant deficit of the 6.258 trillion naira, which will be financed by new borrowings of 5.012 trillion naira. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.